with the statistics, it's easy to see the distribution of these schools. It's helpful because you can tell your market source. By us sharing the statistics, we are open to competition. Our statistics really help bring out the voices of those people who may have thought they are left behind. Statistics impacts directly on people's lives. Statistics is an indispensable tool for national development, growth and planning. High quality data is critical to measure progress in growing the economy, reducing poverty and fostering shared prosperity. Up-to-date statistics inform decision-making in the public and private sector alike because they are needed for proper planning and evaluation of development programs. Better data translates to better lives. So our responsibility as a bureau is to ensure that we produce quality statistics, timely statistics, accurate statistics that can inform the decision-making processes of both government and also other stakeholders. In a world where national economies are becoming increasingly interdependent, official statistics collected, compiled and disseminated by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, provide a basis for understanding how Kenya interacts with others and how conditions compare with those elsewhere. We have also established what we call statistical te technical working groups that comprise education, infrastructure, governance, peace and security, agriculture, nutrition and environment statistics, just to mention a few. And the membership comprises of uh, both government, ministries, departments and agencies, we have non-state actors, and we have also incorporated representatives of the county governments and the council of governors. We have what we call as a, the SDGs champions, I am a champion, and we work with the counties. All the 47 counties also have their own SDG champions. The Statistics Act of 2006 specifically mandates KNBS to act as a principal agency of the government for collecting, analyzing, and disseminating statistical data in Kenya, act as custodian of official statistics, conduct the population and housing census every 10 years, and such other censuses and surveys as the board may determine, maintain a comprehensive and reliable national socio-economic database, and establish standards and promote the use of best practices and methods in the production and dissemination of statistical information across the national statistical system. The board also uh, works uh, uh, very well together with management. This is particularly very important uh, in building the careers of the staff and uh, such other uh, work that relates to having the KBS be able to deliver on its budget. The types of statistics that we collect include uh, the market data, which we do collect from the markets, compile the same, take to Nairobi. This information, is, of course, is uh, used to regulate or uh, the government to know how the, market, the markets are faring. It also assists the, the marketeers uh, balance their their prices so that the local Mananchi uh, does not get uh, pissed or uh, overburdened by the prices. Like here we are getting uh, a heap of tomato, <laughs> like this tomato is 20, 20 bob, but when, when you go to other places they can be sold in uh, quantity, so they are just comparing the, the prices at every market. Timely, complete, Accurate and reliable statistics are critical in creating a sustaining environment which fosters strong, equitable development and is an essential ingredient for formulation of sound economic development policies. So we've been working with the statistics branch in Eldoret and um, we've been giving our monthly returns. More and more people are starting to do what we are doing. We are able to invite and attract competition which only makes us better, to provide better product, to provide better services, to provide a much competitive edge over the others. Data collection is uh, continuous. We have a monthly uh, survey of industrial production. 
those are uh, conducted in a, a monthly basis where we visit uh, different establishments, manufacturing, uh, the ones that deal with production. After collection of uh, the data, we are able to analyze and uh, now this again forms uh, the basis of planning. We've been working with the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics for over eight years now. They ask for, the, uh, for information about ourselves, particularly sales to stockists and sales to the farmers. I provide them that, that information because I believe they get the statistics on our growth and uh, such details. Certainly, you have heard of terms like gross domestic product, GDP, inflation rate, unemployment rate, interest rate, income per capita, balance of payments. All these are derived from reliable statistical indices supplied by KNBS, including calculations on consumer price index, CPI. In Meru, we do collect data on CPI. That is the consumer price index. That helps uh, to compute for the inflation rate. We normally release the inflation rate every month, so it helps us to know where the inflation rate is. We also have a labor enumeration, which we are able to collect in from uh, around August to March. It helps us to know the number of people employed by different organizations within the mayor. The indicators that is used in the budget process all are coming from statistics. Then we look at the resource allocation. Then there's also the monitoring and evaluation of various government programs. All those use statistics that we normally produce. So it shows that without statistics, then there are so many things that we can't be doing. As a bureau, we collect statistics on the types of fish in, 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 in Homa Bay, the variety. For example, we have the tilapia and the other varieties. So we collect those statistics to help us know, uh, of course, our tonnage, for Homa Bay as a county, and it also helps us to even know the, the, the employment status uh, in, the, in fishing, which again is also important for us for planning. I heard that here we sell Nile patch at 200 shillings, but at Nairobi the Nile patch is sold at 650. I hope that if they forward those information to the government, we will get the feedback, and what we lack, we will receive as soon as possible. Homa Bay, county government, come to us, we give them the information, like for example, the, the, the demographics, data users and producers, who also come to us for, for information. Statistics are also important in social policy formulation, among which are the need for free basic education for all, health indicators, sanitation and water supply indicators, cultural and immigration flaws, religion and human rights indicators, just to name a few. And this information is so key for you to plan well for now for your people. Because you know the number, the characteristics about who they are, their levels of education, yeah? You know the issues to do with, uh, do we have people who are disabled, their disability status, you know, the uptake of ICT, for example, you'll know the people who are participating in other economic activities, labor force participation. When you know all that, you are able to make interventions as government. We can visit households to collect data, for example, that uh, will generate indicators, poverty indicators. And this is what the county government will use for planning, knowing where now it's, their citizens are as concerns the, uh, uh, the social status. Statistics play a vital role in poverty reduction and development. Statistics are also deployed to monitor progress towards internationally agreed Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Population censuses are the backbone of any national statistical system and are vital when done at least every 10 years. 
Records of earlier censuses exist dating back to 1897 when the population of Kenya was estimated at 2.5 million people. During those early periods, the exercise was mainly headcounts that served the needs of the colonial government. The first comprehensive census was undertaken in 1948 and the next one in 1962 that numerated 8.6 million people nationally. Population census simply establishes the size, nature and location of a country's population. They provide essential data used in deciding the structure for political representation. They also provide key information on the location and composition of the population, as well as housing conditions and household amenities, to assist the Government of Kenya in the implementation, monitoring and evaluation of Kenya Vision 2030. This information that is generated is used for planning purposes. The government and other stakeholders would be interested in planning for the people. And you can only plan for the people whom you know of. You know their numbers, you know their characteristics. So issues to do with the water, you know you cannot check, uh, give water services without knowing whom you are providing the water to and where. So when it is known that there are people who are vulnerable, that these people are more marginalized and all that, plans are done for them. And that's why we have programs like Equalization Fund, the marginalized communities or groups you end up getting that are at least affirmative action the government is using. So our statistics really helps bring out the voices of those people who may have thought they are left behind or groups that are left behind and are for inclusive planning so that everybody including the Wanjiko, the, the, you know, the farthest Wanjiko. The population and housing sensor, we can call it the foundation of the national statistical system in any country. Every end of the month, we are required to provide the nationality statistics by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. It's helpful because you can tell your market source by the nationalities you can see where the bulk of your clients are coming from and where you need to concentrate or put more effort or venture into new markets. So yes, it, it guides us in our marketing as well. Statistics are important to development progress, not just to monitor progress, but to help drive the outcomes that the statistics are measuring. We do collect data on uh, agriculture, especially on farming. For example, we have the, to know the kind of crops they plant. We also have, want to know the type, types of fertilizer they use. And we would like to see their, if they have terraces in their, their land. They also uh, they get to know more about the markets, the available market they have. So they could specialize in a product for the farming of, prod, of crops that they are where they will sell more. Because resources in some counties are very limited, good statistics are necessary to help ensure that the available resources put into development are used as effectively as possible. Jinsi tunashirikiana na Kenya Bureau, kuna ile reports hizi tunaweza kukombine at the end of the month. Pande ya meat inspection, kuna mambe ya disease control. So, wao wakija kwetu, sisi huwa tunawapatia those figures every end of the month. So ikienda kwa national government, itasaidia mkulima kwa sababu uh, sisi huwa tunapata funding ya juu ili pila tu, tuweze kupachese drugs alafu sisi tunaletea wakulima. The same same diyo huwa wanatumia kujua ni number of livestock ili ambayo tukonazo. Ili hata wakati wananunua the vaccines ama these other drugs wanajua we have a number of animals kama pengine ngombe ama mbuzi in, in the whole of county Siolo. The indicators we get from, for example, the slaughterhouses shows us whether we are increasing the slaughter of animals or not. The indicators would help the abattoir to plan that according to the animals which are available here, they can be able either to sustain the operations of the abattoir or not. Yote sinataka serikali afikirie sana mambo ya gamia hata sasa hivi kila kona ya Kenya gamia sasa iko area ya Samburu gamia na ja area ya Turkana gamia na ja semo hata Mombasa yote gamia iko 
Yami ya ikonya ina nyingi faida. Masua yake ni dawa, nyama yake ni dawa. Hata kwa pesa, iko sawa kabisa. If the traders access this information, we can be getting better markets for the products. We could also be getting customers coming from far to buy because we have big number of animals compared to the neighboring counties. Nyandarwa, we carry out survey pertaining to farming. We have two types of farmers here. They are the dairy farmers and the crop farmers. We can talk of the potatoes, we can talk of the peas, we can talk of carrots, maize, and by talking of area, how many acreage have been planted, for example, potatoes? And how many acreage have been planted, carrot or peas? What was the harvest? The same you get there, farmers who only deal with the dairy cattle. In today's data-saturated, highly visual and networked world, policymakers, researchers and journalists for just about everything need and use statistics. We usually generate reports on monthly basis, others are on quarterly basis, and also others are on annual basis. If you look at Agenda 4, uh, and specifically when you look at the issues of health, uh, look at the issues of the food nutrition, be it housing, you know, and also the aspect of manufacturing. Those programs or the agenda is actually set based on statistics. To achieve a fair measure of success, there is need to map out strategic plans at which the role of statistics is vital and relevant. Good statistics it means the plans will be good, policy formulation will be good based on the facts.